Thank you very much for spending uh, uh, some time with us today, Dr. Shi. Um, obviously, uh, I wanted to understand, uh, get a bit more information from you on the, the latest developments with your Pluto uh, technology. Uh, could you give us that, uh, give us an idea of what what's developments are going on there? Sure. And uh, you know, for Suntec, we all, always understand uh, the PV module is an energy product. So that's me. You know, to continue drive cost down is very important. So we believe technology is one of the you know key uh, areas. You know, we can drive cost down quite dramatically. So uh, the Pluto technology, which is actually is uh, the commercialization of uh, world record, you know, crystalline silicon solar cell technology. I mean, so far the world record crystalline silicon efficiency is 25 percent. Okay, which is produced by the University of New South Wales in, in the laboratory. So where I came from, also our CTU came from. So it took us about five years to really commercialize this technology into production. And uh, now we had uh, already uh, 100 megawatt you know, Pluto cell capacity in Suntech. And uh, we already you know, produce uh, Pluto cells in mass scale for about six months time. Now you know, in the production line, our routine uh, you know, efficiency for monocrystalline silicon cells is about 19%. For multi-crystalline silicon solar cells is about 17%. So we, we are pretty happy about uh, what to achieve uh, so far. And uh, at this moment, uh, you know, in our pilot line, we are you know, developing the second phase Pluto uh, cells, you know, which will you know, uh, lead us uh, to efficiency of monocrystalline solar cells above 20%. So another important thing for Pluto technology, we did not increase our capex or production cost that much, okay? And also, if you look at uh, all the high efficiency solar cell technology in solar space, I believe SunTech Pluto cell technology is the only technology which can produce high efficiency solar cells on multi-crystalline silicon wafers. Okay, all other is all for mono wafers. So that's why I think uh, the Pluto cell technology is very unique. So what you're saying there as well is that you're gaining the efficiencies at record levels, but also you're keeping the costs down in comparison to some of the others which have a, a well known for, for exactly. being a high cost uh, uh, cell base. Yes, that's, that's the key. If we increase efficiency, also increase manufacturing costs is not going to help. But what about the the ramp of this? You said you're around 100 megawatts. But what, what's the what's what? How how many megawatts of and how many lines do you expect to convert by the end of uh, 2009? Yeah, by end of this year, we we estimate we probably will retrofit about uh, production line about 300 megawatt into Pluto uh, sales. Next year, we we think we'll be at least you know five to 600 megawatt. Uh, our production line will be in Pluto sales. Now, um, looking at uh, the thin film side, you're, you're um, preparing that, your first facility there. Can you give us uh, an update on your plans for your thin film? Yeah, our first 40 megawatt uh, thin film silicon production line is going well. Now is there already, you know, tuning, you know, the position of silicon. I believe maybe in a month's time we should have some preliminary results ready. And uh, at the same time, you know, like uh, I think uh, for uh, Morpho silicon or multi-junction, you know, silicon thin film efficiency at this moment is about uh, six to eight percent. So, to be honest, uh, you know, it's a it's bit challenge because crystalline silicon price, you know, comes down very fast. So, th there's obviously uh, an interest from yourselves to um, to use thin film. Um, do you see that as a, an, an, an advantage going forward to have both types of technology, uh, both crystalline and thin film, and, and how, how do they, how would they complement each other? Okay, I, I always see thin film. You know, we have a bright future, and uh, I just think apart from first solar, you know, or in a special silicon based based thin film technology, probably is not quite ready yet for mass production. So that's mean we still we need to devote a lot of R&D effort. You know, I always believe when thin film silicon efficiency you know, can be above 12%, then I think you can compete you know, with other thin film technology and also with uh, you know, crystalline silicon technology. So efficiency is the key. 
So are you, are you obviously uh, working with your, your um, development partners, uh, uh, but are you doing your own R&D then to boost the cell efficiencies uh, to, to, in many sense, I guess, differentiate yourselves later in the market compared to others? Yeah, we, had a, we have about uh, 60 engineers and scientists working on you know, R&D of Synthium you know, technology. So we, you know, we have a very good feeling you know, we should be able to reach a target in a couple of years' time. But uh, meanwhile, you know, actually the major you know, motivation for Suntech to, to start the first Synthium production line is for we want to develop a true BRPV product. Okay? It's going to take some effort, but we believe we can make it happen. Because I keep telling to, uh, to our engineers, it's up to us to make it happen, not, not architecture. Okay, so we have to be very creative and work very closely with, with architecture and, and uh, in the construction industry to make it happen. And I'm guessing uh, because the lack of standards, um, the, the fact that uh, you have to develop a truly low cost solution for, for BIPV, that's obviously going to take a lot of time and educating of a whole group, uh, the whole infrastructure in, in, uh, in building and uh, development. And that's, that's not going to, the BIP market therefore isn't going to happen overnight. Of course. So that's why I say it takes time. So that's why we only, you know, purchase one production line, not, uh, not two or three or four. So we know this market is small. And also, uh, don't forget in architecture you know, or building industry, there's several different, you know, grade of glasses. There's a you know, very expensive glass, there's very cheap glass. So we can maybe initially tap in you know, the high-end market. Okay? Addition, you know, in addition to, 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 to the glass function, we can provide you know, power. You know. So I believe there will be market there. Okay. Well, thank you very much thank for your you. time. Okay.